Uh, Roma is most likely to win Best Picture because it won the Directors Guild Award, which is a good indicator of what will win Best Director, and then also a good percentage of those have also gone on to win Best Picture. I think also it has a story that can, a lot of people can relate to in that um, the main characters, I believe it's the director's kind of semi-autobiographical tale of his looking back on his relationship with um, the housekeeper or the domestic worker that they had and how, what a positive influence it played in his life. And I think anyone can relate to having a mentor that's maybe not necessarily a, a parent, but a, a coach or a teacher that looking back, maybe you learned hard truths, but you were appreciative of that afterwards. Um, and it's timely too, it, although it takes place in the, 19, I believe, 1970s Mexico, and there's a good amount of political turmoil. It, you know, there's, those things are kind of out of, out of the, the hands of the control of ordinary people. And so it's how do you treat the person uh, next to you that may not be of the same complexion or economic class. Um, they still have a dignity as well, and they're still kind of working through their problems as, as well. And I think that resonated with a lot of people and, and voters. The movie that I would like to win would be Green Book. I think Green Book deserves to win. My, I have a very simple barometer. Um, if Is it a movie I'd want to watch again or sit through again or, or tease out theological or, or moral themes or just be entertained for a couple hours? And I think it very much succeeds in that it's a very classic Hollywood tale in terms of the screenwriter and the, and the structure. Uh, both of the main characters, um, one has to kind of work through his uh, this kind of the subtle rate racism that he shows, so he becomes a better person that way. Um, but also the um, Dr. Don Shirley, the um, pianist, also um, kind of did well in life and is an artist, but also needs to condescend in, in a good sense and um, kind of come off his ec economic ladder and see the value in uh, a working class person. So he is, um, he emerges from the movie transformed as well. So the movies that are suitable for the whole family, um, I think Green Book would be one. Um, Roma would be as well. It's, it's, a little, it's a little slow and it's very artistically shot. Black Panther, I would have to say definitely. Um, as a Marvel comic book fan, but Marvel fan in particular, it's the best that they've released. Um, so yeah, I mean, parents and kids could watch that as well. Um, I think even even Black Klansmen because it takes like uh, it shows the absurdity of, of racism um, for most of the film. There's also but there's also footage from Charlottesville that was probably disturbing for um, the youth. But it, it, I mean it could teach really good lessons um, if you maybe just played ninety percent of the of the movie. Green Book had the most spiritual resonance. Um, it depicts a Catholic family in a. Uh, a very realistic, honest, um, fa and a fair way. And the main character, to the, in terms of the pianist, um, they, I think they dealt with kind of his issues in a, very delicately, uh, and, and again, in a very Catholic way, um, in terms of just loving uh, the sinner and whatever their particular sins are. Um, to maybe despise that part of it and have that to be an opportunity to, of growth.